Hello everyone and welcome to uh, Google Chrome. It's a web browser. Today we will learn how to download Google Chrome. Remember, Google Chrome is not installed by default in Windows operating system. So what do you need to do to install Google Chrome? Uh, first, you need to click on the Internet Explorer tile on the start screen and then you go to www.google.com slash chrome and then press enter once you do that you will see a link here that will auto detect your operating system and by the way you can install Google Chrome on Windows 8, 7, Vista, XP. But the Windows that we are using now is Windows 8. So once I click on download Google Chrome and then accept and install, I should be able to get a dialog box. This dialog box will be different based on the type of Internet Explorer that you are using. If you are using Internet Explorer, that is located on the start screen before the Windows 8 updates you will get something similar to this panel at the very bottom here it is aligned at the very bottom as you can see it here look but I don't want to do it this way let's say you are using the desktop so basically you will open Internet Explorer and then go to the address bar and then you will start typing the address which is the URL for Google Chrome google.com slash Chrome and then press enter and then click on download Google Chrome and then click on accept and install look at the uh, screen here look at this alert message it says would you like to save or would you like to run? I will go ahead and run it and then once I click on run it will ask me would you like to install Google Chrome I press yes and then it will start downloading Google Chrome it will take two minutes to download the application and then once the download is complete the installation will start so there are two steps that you need to keep in mind when you get Google Chrome on your machine. First, you need to go to the address of Google Chrome, which is www.google.com slash Chrome, and then click on install, download and install, and then accept. All right? And then the, the download will start. So the, the download is basically getting the file from Google server inside your computer then after you get the file you start installing the file on your computer so you can uh, use it so why do we need Google Chrome since we already have Internet Explorer so Internet Explorer is a web browser Google Chrome is a web browser Internet Explorer comes built in with Windows but Google Chrome is a browser that is provided by Google there are many services on Google that we will use throughout the semester and these services we have to have Chrome to be able to use it that's why we are downloading and installing Google Chrome see the message now it says installing Google Chrome the download is complete so the second step is installing the application basically the installation uh, uh, process is very straightforward here you have new apps that can open and then uh, Chrome is almost ready click next to choose your default browser okay now this is totally up to you uh, you can choose Internet Explorer to be your default browser what does that mean it means that when whenever you open a website the default application that will handle any internet address or website will be the one that you select now personally I prefer to use Google Chrome and you will know why 
So I will make sure that Google Chrome is my default browser. And here, if you have a Google address, you can put your student email and password and then click sign in. Why, why is that important? So let's say you are using Google Chrome here and then you have the same application at home and then you have another application at work. It will sync all of your uh, items inside this application, your favorites, uh, your bookmarks, and so on. So uh, I don't really uh, sign in. But if you prefer, you can. And now, what do I have on my machine? I have Google Chrome installed inside my machine. And look what happened at the bottom here. I have the Google Chrome icon. I thank you for watching, and I will see you in future tutorials.